What'd you change? Somebody check it out now. I clicked down mix to mono. I, this has never happened before, but uh, I guess it wanted to happen today. So uh, I think it's working now, bro. Is it down working mix now, to bro? mono. I've it's become an OBS be. whiz now. Yeah, it's good now. All right, so we're going to do a mic check once more. Everybody say, yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, what it do? Yo. Yo, right, yo, yo, yo. Is there audio comparable to mine? Is it all good? Because we're live now, chat. Yo, Ben Nissim, dude, that's my guy. And he's always, whenever <laughs> there's an audio issue or a video issue, he always texts me on the side and lets me know. Oh, Ben's the fucking homie. He's literally dude. the homie, dude. He's, Every the, time. he's the best. One of those people that just lets you just fail in silence. Just dude, watch him right? like, look at these guys with their issues. Hashtag free Pac-Man facts, dude. He's still in a prison cell. No pictures on the walls. One bed. And How many beds do I need? I live by myself. I'm just saying, just a bed and that's it. And then you got like the prison sheets. Dude, that's like <laughs> prison sheets. <laughs> those are those are high thread count sheets, buddy. Look oh, at Asa, bro. Sheets. He's got the picture on the wall. Got her access. Yeah, some random ass phone. fucking frame yeah. picture. He has, like... he has a random. What is that? I don't know, oh, man. <laughs> <set up. laughs> got her access playing out of like a closet. A uh, basic. Come on now. <laughs> I got two setups down here in my laundry. Come on. So, dude, you guys, I have a question off the off the rip. Isn't that like? Not even one of the topics. I was just thinking about it. You guys, obviously, you're good on land, so you have nothing to prove on land, really, other than getting that win. But, like, do you prefer, like, playing at home? It's fun, fun right? No. no? No. I feel like some people would. <laughs> what kind of question was that? You just asked yeah, me for no. absolute warrior well, joke no, clowns. There's some people who, like, Clay last week said, like, dude, I love playing at home. I can, like, rage off after. It's like... I don't know. Some people might prefer. I thought maybe they would be on that side of things. So not at all. Uh, not one bit. I prefer land by far because you have the atmosphere and you have all the like the crowd chanting and stuff like that, making plays. And every time you get every time you make a play, they get loud. So. Mm. No, and I've and always even, said even, about our team that like our team is like super like is is like a slower side of the team, so like not super fast. And like on land, a lot of things slow down. So we're we're a lot better on land too. That's why I prefer it. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean. Even on land too, like after matches, you can still you know rage a bit and whatnot. But <laughs> I get I get what Clay meant by after that. Mm -hmm. And you're probably just going insane, not being able to like be in front of a crowd. I feel like because you guys are getting it so often this year from previous years, I was probably like, oh, we can play in front of these guys every event, which was dope. Yeah, so exactly. I feel no, that's facts. And prior years, I had like one person in the background getting hyped in the crowd. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the show, guys. It's both of you guys' first time on the show. We're on episode 28. We're getting pretty deep into the season now. I appreciate you guys taking the time out to come through. I know you're busy with scrimming and all that stuff. Um, but how's, how's it been, us. man? How's uh, Corona been, being at home? How are you guys you know, uh, Corona sucks, but you know we've been, we've been living good, you know? Like I said before we went live, us gamers are pretty much built for this. Staying inside all day, playing games 24-7. Uh, literally just scrimming, getting on every day and playing games. Nothing much has changed since. No, yeah, honestly, I I feel like I'm I'm just super blessed also with like, there's no close family of mine that's like affected by the coronavirus, so like, Very I've good. just been been super grateful and just been playing at home. I like that. You guys are both like dim heads though, right? Like, how has this affected your workout grind and motivation? Dude, my I don't know. Like, I am <laughs> I I'm a gym head, but I just dude I I just can't fucking work out from home. Like to be honest, like it it, it just sucks. It's honestly not the same to me. I don't know. There's, there's I, like can't, a huge difference. I can't either. Since this since this happened, I haven't done. I've done like twenty push-ups. I actually did that one. <laughs> yeah, I was jump like, roping today, doing push-ups today. I put on the the quarantine weight, so I'm like, yo, I gotta work this off, bro. Love handles are coming in. Asim's one of those people who eats whatever he wants though, and just doesn't gain weight, so he's chilling. I wish I had that. <laughs> Dude, all throughout my life, I never like worked out. So this September, I really got into the gym. And so, like, I've been a super big gym head this past year. So, like, with the uh, with like uh, with the quarantine and stuff and gym closing, it's been super hard to get a workout in, and I can't do home workouts. Like, but um, I I've had this like super nice waterfront that I've been like jogging on, and like I I did it for like the first couple weeks of the, of quarantine, but like <laughs> now, I just can't. I hate cardio, and like I just haven't been able to do anything. I know. I hate cardio worst. too. If you like put me in like a game, if if I'm playing basketball, I can run and do whatever. But just yes, to run facts, for no facts, reason, facts. Yes, I'm like, bro, 100%. come on. <laughs> I can pl I can play ball all day. I can literally yeah. play ball all day, and that's my quarantine or my cardio, and I love it. But like, I can't do regular cardio. I just hate it. Literally, bro. Everyone's like, dude, cardio's are warm. Like, 
No, I just stretch and get straight into lifting. Like, what? <laughs> no, yeah, seriously. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Nah, 100% for you guys on that. Well, I'm glad you guys are healthy. Your families are healthy. I know, Asim, you're fasting right now. So that's probably the nice part about being at home is you could just, like, wake up. Right yeah, home-cooked meals. Yeah, home-cooked oh, meals, yeah. all that stuff. So that's nice. And uh, But I wanted to get into things a little bit. We haven't had anybody from Minnesota on the show um, and any of you guys that are on the team, actually, ever. Um, so I guess let's talk a little bit about how you guys reformed going into the season, like how it started off for you guys, who were the founding members of Minnesota, and why you chose that, and how it happened. Uh, well, I mean, I guess start off because I was pretty much core three, but um, right away Justin and Adam they wanted me as the like third, so we can get that core and find out the uh, next two players. But um, originally we were supposed to, we were talking to um, it was a uh, Shocks and Looney at first, oh, really? be our fourth and fifth. Yeah, but then uh, that fell through and stuff like that. I guess some players wanted to play with others, but, you know, it happens. So then um, Alex and Asim were on board with us, so we decided to pick them up instantly. But um, I knew right away, like, Minnesota was the right place to be, you know, besides, you know, winter being, like, the coldest month ever or the coldest time <laughs> ever. But um, it just, like, everything about them felt like it was, like, at, at home no matter what. The entire staff felt like they just wanted to be, like, a part of the organization. They wanted to be a part of, like, your daily life and wanted to be your friend mm -hmm. and actually wanted to get to know you. And then, like, just like, like I said, like everything about them just felt like it was like a home, like a, just a, just a homey vibe. And like, like honestly, it's been the best decision so far. For you, Asim? Um, yeah. So like later on in the Ross Mini, I was talking to Alex heavily on like trying to go somewhere, and me and him were like trying to team up somewhere. So really, I was talking to him more so than Minnesota, and just being like, "Yo, like Alex, I'm want to, I want to be a SMG duo with you. Like, where do you, where you guys, where are you trying to go?" And, like, at the time, I think our, our two, like, main, main options were Toronto and Minnesota. And Alex was actually the one that pushed heavily for Minnesota, and I trusted him. And, like, it's, it's already, like, so, so far, like, working out for us. So, it's on. I put more so for me, it was, like, Alex. Like, Alex made the move, and he, he took the initiative. He's like, let's go Minnesota. And I was like, all right, let's let's do the Minnesota move. So, that's that's how my my, uh, my joining went. It's crazy how the offseason people said that, like, right? They joined up with duos and stuff because no one knows how the game's going to be. So he's like, let's be an SMG duo somewhere. And now this game is like, <laughs> for the most part, teams run four subs on, like, every everything. No, like, I know yeah, you guys, you yeah. guys have a, are one of the teams that uses two ARs, like, I want to say, as much as most. Yeah. But in I mean, general, at it's first, like, literally it was, like, two ARs, but now it's, like, first, we yeah. run two ARs, like, on two maps max. That's it. <laughs> kind of crazy. Literally. How did you? If you were gonna go into a game like say say your team broke up and you're just gonna go into the next title, uh, you guys probably aren't gonna break up. You guys are a great team, but how would you go about forming the next team without having any clue about the game's meta going in? Dude, honestly, like <laughs> at this point, like I don't even know if you can like go back to like the, like strict roles with like having four SMGs this entire title. Like I, I don't even I get dude like you probably right, need right. someone who like who knows how to like run like a flex as well, right? And still, like, a man AR. I, I, I feel like those are, like, the only two that like, you would look for next season. Just a man AR and a flex, that's it. He would have to need, like, a sub-oriented flex, too, because you see issues with, like, the flex players who, like, say they're a flex, but they're not, like, a true flex, and they want to go oh, yeah. back to AR at times. <laughs> so, like, I mean, John's running into that right now. But, like, yeah, it's tough, dude. Going into a game, like, dude, you can make the best roster ever, and then it's just – the meta dictates how good your team is like is that yeah, for you guys you're probably happy with like how the meta is so far but i feel like for some people it's frustrating how it has not changed at all like that's this game has been a bit different in that regard like the meta has not changed since the beginning of the game really it's been yeah, the same uh, the whole time which yeah, is, yeah just, we, uh, we were recently talking about but like to to john's question i feel like if you were to go to the next year and you're trying to like find a team i feel like the biggest thing is like who you're comfortable with like I feel like that goes such a long way. Like, if you're uncomfortable on a team or you just don't like where you're at with like the teammates, like it affects placements, affects the way you play and everything. So I feel like if I were to go to the, like the next year and I would need new teammates, I would just I would just find people with like playstyles like mine or playstyles that I like and just try to team up with them. Even personality wise too, right? Because oh, yeah. the big thing, yeah. Because I, I remember there was yeah, a time extremely underrated. It was, uh, where were we? I think we were in Atlanta, actually. And I walked out back, um, and I was on the phone, and I, I saw you guys all out back after you guys had lost. And Asim, you were, like, hyping the team up, giving them a crazy speech, like, 
like from the outside seeing that it's like this guy's really passionate and then the thought crossed my mind is like is this pissing off his teammates and then i thought about because like, <laughs> i've been in positions no, where like somebody's done no, that right. and, and no, it's pissed yeah. me off but like when you have that team that you all trust and you're all get along with and if if you're able to do that and the personalities mesh well like that's a great team like do you feel comfortable that you can like be that passionate with this squad Oh, 100 percent i feel like even with like my past phase team i don't think i would have been able to do what i just what i did at that after that atlanta uh tournament like i was just like expressing what need, needed to be said because we were so like we were just so in shock and like so disappointed in the way we lost and i just didn't want this team to like go down a, like a down spiral after like such a tragic loss like that and and i just thought like like over the months like this team has been super close and like super easy to like critique so like i knew like saying saying what i said was going to be able to like not piss them off like you said because that's big yeah, like the huge. certain players like they actually take it the wrong way and, and i knew with this team they wouldn't have taken the wrong way and they would have actually like used that to to like uh, improve and like make sure that they knew what they fucked up on or or that it was just one loss and there's more tournaments to come so has he taken sort of a leadership role in that regard, Jerome? Like, how, how what's the dynamic on the squad like with that? I would say the dynamic with our squad is really like everyone critiques everybody. Like, no mm -hmm. one like, like no one actually like gets pissed off or something like that when someone calls them out on a bad play. Like, as if if you're a good player, like you want to still take criticism from anybody, like, and you won't be afraid to take it. Like, you can't be soft about it. Like, you have to just take it and get mad when someone else does like a bad play or something, and be able to learn from it and actually get better and make sure the mistake doesn't happen again. That's the one thing I fucking love about our team a lot is because no one gets mad at anybody for stuff like that. It's awesome. John, you have a follow-up to that, or should we go to the next one? No, I mean, that's a, that's extremely important because a lot of times, I mean, every team's going to have arguments. Every team's going to disagree. Everyone's yeah. going to make mistakes, just especially in a game like this where, like, certain little plays can mess everything up. Like, it's important that you trust what your teammates have to say and that you're all on the same page. And, exactly. I mean, pretty much everyone, when they play Minnesota, they – that's what they leave thinking, right? Like that Minnesota is pretty much like a really solid team, whether or not they won or lost or whatever the situation that Minnesota doesn't like that. they seem to be on the same page. So yeah, there's no I think that's, maps. that's what yeah, there's no, like. yeah, for the most part. Yeah. No, I definitely think it's I like mean, the most important everyone thing. Everyone was bad every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. And, and also like, I feel like even like it be, coming into the year, like our, our rankings were nowhere near like where we are now. Like, not I feel like all. a lot of people had us like 10th and 11th. Like I did like, <laughs> being able to like being able to like actually improve with teammates and like i don't know this team is like very different than the past i've had like everyone just like for some like everyone is always super team oriented and everyone learns listens to everyone so like it's just like we don't have one one guy that just like controls the entire team and i think that just goes such a long way and even, even with every little player they have different things they learn or different uh insights on different plays and we just follow everything on, on terms of like what kind of ideas we have so feel like it, it definitely does go a long way and it, it clearly shows like our rankings were, were nowhere near where we are now yeah and that actually is the next like question or topic is like everyone expects to be the best team going into this season obviously like yes we made this roster we're going to be the best but like what was your realistic expectation for the season like did you expect to be in the top three discussion this early or was it like all right guys like there's some really good rosters we might be really good by the end of the season like what were your thoughts going in when the team was formed yeah, right away when we formed, I mean, right away I knew that we were gonna be like top three for discussion because we had we had uh we we have Adam and Justin, two world champs on our team, and we have Asim and Alex who've been like on or placing top four and like and whatnot consistently, well, not really consistently, but they've been placing top four, and us three young guns, Lee, like just we had to drive to win and actually get better and whatnot, and with the, with the veteranship from those two players, I knew right away that we had like we had like a chance to be like top like right away. Because we all we all have the good gun skill and the smarts, so it's just a matter of actually like us getting together and just flashing, like getting that chemistry together down fast. Well, for you, Asim, you had just came from a team with like extremely individually talented players, and like you didn't manage to take down that championship. So going to this team, you must have felt like uh, maybe this is a a little bit of a step down, but I'm gonna grind. I've learned a lot and like bring more to this squad. Like, did you expect this team to be, you know? Like, this team's better than your last team. Like, did you expect to be in this position right now, like, going into the season? Um, I think I think you're right. Like, I was I was thinking about, like, the, my last like my last team and how heavily stacked it was in, in terms of talent. Like, I feel like our respawn, for a, a good majority of, like, the ending half of the year, like, we were in discussions for, like, top three respawn team. And, like, last year, like, 
we didn't have so much uh, teamwork than uh, talent, and I felt like with this team, what I what I came into it thinking was like, if we were going to be a top three team, like we'd have to have our our teamwork down pat. So like, um, after like playing like a couple scrims and a couple weeks of it, like I realized how mu how like well we like how well we matched together, and I I realized like like we could definitely be top three like in discussions. So like coming into like the scrimming par and like actually going like, going to the first event which was Minnesota like it was obviously like just I was just thinking about like um, if we were gonna be like a top three team or not but just scrimming and like actually improving and being with the teammates and the kind of like the mindsets they had it I, I knew we were gonna be a top three team. Damn. How did you take how did you take what happened to you at the end of last year and 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 move it into this year because I don't know if the people in the chat know or people know but. You guys were up 2-0, 2-0 to go yeah, forward. Control, like that's one of the, yeah, that's one of the, like, the harshest losses that I've ever actually seen. I think it has been to be yeah, of all time. Yeah, it has to be yeah, like, all time. It's, yeah. it's <laughs> and to go from there, and then that team got second place. Like, <laughs> so you guys were obviously a top team at champs, but you guys got 16th place or whatever it is, right? 16. Mm -hmm. yeah, how did you I take was... that? How did you take that moment and make sure to relay that to your teammates or or to yourself even just to make sure the hope to make sure that something like that doesn't happen again um honestly like that was definitely the worst loss like of all time for me like i i'm usually like really good at like period. losing being able to be like all right like we lost this event like we can prove like we're good <laughs> but that one obviously was the last event of the year like we couldn't play again like it was very bad right so i think like going into the off season i was just like i don't know like i was just making sure that my head was like okay like i wasn't super depressed or anything like that but but uh, like off like the first couple of days it was like really bad because obviously champs is the, the last year or the last event of the year and the, the the event before that we got third and we lost to united that won the event and, <laughs> and that was when we beat 100 thieves and they didn't lose for like what three months they're on like a crazy hot streak and we 3-0 them at miami so like we knew we were a good team so just losing that event was very traumatic it was, it was re like a really <laughs> tough loss and I think that's what sparked the chant to like, um, or like the the like, the speech I had after Atlanta, because when yeah, we lost that. Atlanta, um, because you said make sure it happened again. We got reverse swept at Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. When we got reverse swept at Atlanta, <laughs> dude, the, Sim was he was like for those of you in the chat who don't know like what we're talking about, he was animated. Like he was like, listen. Don't fucking hold your heads down low. Like this shit is never happening again. Like if this happens yeah. again, like he was snapping, dude. That's why I asked him a question about that. So that's what he's talking about. After they lost in Atlanta, they got reverse up. They went out back, and he gave like a huge speech. And I feel like from that moment, your team has been like way better. Like it just it, whether that oh, yeah. moment sparked it or not. Like that's the moment I remember. For, like and then your team started to play a lot better since then. No, oh, yeah, because I just remember seeing everyone's faces, and we were down, and we lost to Atlanta, and they they went to go play finals against Florida, and we were just so like down and i'm sitting there thinking like bro we, we can't act like this is the last event of the year like we're good like we got la in like <laughs> what like, two weeks there, like yo. we're fine like yeah i've been there bro i just kept saying that and i think that's what sparked it but for my like for the other teammates on phase like i don't know how they how they went through or, like how they treated that loss but that was fucking that was an event <laughs> <laughs> that was that was an experience out and i'll say that well, all right. So moving on to Gotta Rex a little bit. How have you improved so much, dude? Like from last season, you were solid. Like you were frying. You had it like Anaheim and you went brazy. And then this season, I think you're like, let me look at your stats. You're plus 296 on the year. Like you're like the number two KD in the entire CDL or something like that. Like you've been frying. Like what does your team do for you that allow you to do that? And like what's different about this team from other teams? Like how I are mean, you frying so hard? Like this team, I mean, they just they just let me like I I want to like let me do what I want to do on the map, but they make sure like they're doing what they're doing to make sure I'm comfortable on the map as well. And obviously, like any like your your entire team wants to do that, but they just made sure like they 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 wanted me to run what I wanted to run on certain maps, like what I'm like comfortable with on every single map wise. And I don't know, just like just playing with this team just like makes everything so smooth for me. I mean, like literally, just every map just feels smooth, like. Playing this game feels a lot smoother to me. Like, I don't know, man. Just the confidence as well came from last season to this season as well. Like, I don't know. I feel like confidence is a big thing with any player as well. And last year, like, literally sparked it for me once I got my opportunity on E6 and that Anaheim event. 
But like up there, I mean, since then it's just like just a uphill for me, pretty much. I don't know. So every series you go into now, you're like, I'm about to fry. Like that's oh, like, yeah. cause cause like that feeling, bro. John, like you all that know, feeling's real. that feeling is very real. That, like whether oh, yeah. it's been like forgot or X, it's been a few events now, like the whole season. But like ASM, John, you've had it. Like when you start off in a tournament, you're frying and you're confident, and then it just continues on the whole time. Like he's on that streak right now, where it's like not stopping. Like what's that like for you, ASM? Like with, with on this team, like how. Or does he do that in scrims? Like, how do you help him just go off every map, every series like that? Um, honestly, I think it's just like, like with the type of player I am, like I'm super fast paced. So I always like, whenever I see someone like that's like, in, that's needs help or in a situation or just like, just like, I don't know. I, I feel like it's just the type of teammate I am. Like, I just like, like seeing my teammates do what they're comfortable with. And I just like make sure it's my priority, to, like just help them out in being able to fry on a certain point of the map or just being able to fry in general i i think that's just like i i that's that kind of rep i have now in the scene that everyone knows i'm just like a super like you're just the new and improved classic yeah i'm super <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah. He said, yeah. <laughs> i mean i don't know classic was the, the fryer back when i was watching too dude it's dude. crazy though you're actually classic <laughs> old too. man that's crazy <laughs> Yeah, classic the old man now. I'm I'm the young classic. Dude, it's just like you're classic with a little bit of melanin, bro. And that just makes you like elite. Dude. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's actually hilarious to think about though. You guys both came from like the same circle, which is insane. Yeah, we actually did. But uh yeah, so that's that's dope to hear. Uh John, do you have a follow up to that or should we move to the next topic? Move on to the next topic, my brother. Let's talk about your opponents this season, my guys. Who is your toughest opponent? Like, I feel like it would, I would, like, FaZe is the obvious answer, but you got over that hump. Is it Empire now? Like, who is it? It's got to be Empire or Chicago because we're Damn. 0 2 at Chicago for events wise. We lost them at Atlanta and we lost them at the Dallas Home Series as well. But without Big P? Nah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Without Big P? Yo, that put a smile on both their faces here. Yeah, wait, wait. <laughs> Say, uh, Without the vibes and the internal, like, knowledge, what do you guys think about that move on its face? It's like, pierce out for, for whoever, for General or whoever they end up getting. General or Pistini, you know, the rumors are running rampant. Yeah, rumors go wild around here. <laughs> wild time. I mean, knowing, I mean, uh, I mean, like, knowing Pierce and whatnot, I mean, obviously, like, he, like, he once was best for his team, obviously, right? He's Cause, a like, beast, bro. Yeah, like, he's a beast. <laughs> like, like, you can't deny that. But, like, I mean, maybe he just gets, like, really pissed off to the point where it's like, bro, I just can't deal with that anymore or whatnot. But, like, I'd, I mean, personally, I don't, I don't really understand the change. I mean, they obviously have, like, stuff, like, we probably don't know about. But, like, he's a beast of a player. He's very smart. I just, I, I just, I just can't see why, to be honest. To me, it's like, he's, uh, you, if you get in that tough situation where, like, you feel like, He's, you know, toxic in practice or whatever. You still, like, can't drop him because, like, he's going to be so good on another team. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, if exactly. Pierce goes to another oh, yeah. squad, he's going to be so yeah. damn good. And he's, like, a huge threat on your team. Like, for you guys, just being well, honest. I mean, you go ahead, John, what are you going to say? It's a different world now, though. So, I, I agree with you that if you let Pierce go to another team, he'll be a beast. But who's saying they have to let him go to another team? It's franchise world. That's he literally true. could sit there Very forever. True. Very yeah, true. Literally. true. But, yeah. like, I don't know. Don't you want to use him to, like, trade to get another player if you're really set on not having him? He's a big, you know, like, that's a big paycheck you're just putting on your bench. No, I agree. But, I mean, what do you need another player for? Then you just cause problems within your own team. Like, if you have six good players or something like that, only five of them can, can play. Yeah. <laughs> what do you – <laughs> yeah, players, bro. yeah, and they change their team like ninety times. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> change it a lot. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Which line are we playing today, man? I don't know. It's a weird situation to me, dude. I get it, I guess. I, I mean, I know there's been the the clips I saw of him and Envoy getting into it, but yeah, they get in, they get to it a lot. But like, yeah. they made the team, and Formal had just played with them. Like, they knew like. The bed they were getting into. Yeah. They knew they knew what they were getting into. You're right. 100%. I mean, honestly, it just it's just a lot of behind the scenes things. Obviously, yeah, I don't, I he's a is a great it. player and he puts up amazing stats. So it's just obviously it's something behind the scenes. 
Yeah, I can't speak to I mean, it because I'm not on the team. It, I was surprised it took this long, to be honest. Really? Remember when, when we made the preseason predictions? That was the reason why I put them where I put them. Yep. On and people were roasting. I knew because people were roasting. It's like I just know these guys just literally don't get along. It just happened. It's not like I'm a fortune teller. It just happened. They literally hate each other, like months ago. It just happened, and then they came and formed another team again. I'm like, what the heck? My thing is, is like they're still good though. You know what I mean? Like you guys watch them play. Like you guys can, you you guys have them in the top four. Like they're still really good. It's just like for me, the change was out of the blue. Like you guys are more looped in with that and scrims and stuff. Like, did you see that happening? Like right now, or was it kind of out of the blue for you guys too? I honestly didn't even see it happening at all. Like I thought, I thought like they were like at least like just get along and try to fucking push through and whatnot. Because obviously like, with franchise, like I don't think that you can just like do stuff like that easily. But I guess I was wrong. But like, like I said, like I thought they were gonna push through at least. That's crazy. No, in, in scrims they were playing a little worse. But I, like, I mean, I heard the slight rumors that they're like dropping Big P or benching him, and I was like, nah, that can't be true, right? <laughs> but, but yeah, like after the after the event placing, then I heard like some like serious rumors yeah, that they're top actually four, right? Him. Yeah, yeah, they got top yeah, four. Like, like it wasn't it wasn't that bad. But I was like, damn, like is that really gonna happen? And I guess I guess it did. Also, like, they were playing worse in scrims, but they were making switches between formal and oh, Alec yeah. running, yeah, yeah, yeah. running yeah, main yeah. AR and flex. Like, that is literally on paper. That has literally nothing to do with Pierce. Th- those two switching, and then yeah, no, you're right. So that obviously is something internal that none of us know about. Yeah, exactly. As to, as to why, so we can't really speak on it. But it caught right. me off guard. Well, since we kind of bypassed and we got into the uh, the moves talk let's just talk about the other move real quick i know john well john you can speak a little bit about it now that it's out there chino in for j cap for you guys minnesota have you guys scrimmed them at all have you scrimmed optic at all recently once i think yeah, with chino once. yep how was it as opposed to with j cap <laughs> this is the time Shit, right here remember, bro sim do you remember <laughs> um so he smiled almost a clap well, the, ma- the map bro. count wasn't that close but honestly it was like the first day that they switched so i'll give them the benefit of doubt you know like you can't just sub in another player have a different guy on the smoke and expect to do like super good right so i mean just... that's that's the benefit of that i'll give <laughs> wait honestly the top team that we do the best against is minnesota to be honest, Ooh, just shit. just historically. No, that is true. No, that no, is yeah, true. That, I don't even know why. Three them at uh, Los Angeles, I think it was. Yep, yeah, they did yeah, do that. Yeah. yeah, then they, they went on to get to the finals. I so knew, they won I knew that series was chalked when I when I fucking took a step on Kyler's gum on on my station, bro. I <laughs> <laughs> Please stand down, bro. Why does my right foot feel heavy? What the fuck? Why do you think that is, John? Uh, we'll, we'll go uh, around um, the table on this, but why do you think that you played close? It's because of what uh, what he said earlier. He said. We are one of the slower place to pace teams, and on land, like it slows down for us, and that helps us. But so are we. So their play style, like it helps with us, and like so they're like all the other top teams yeah, are pretty. Matchups. Yeah, all the other top teams are pretty like pretty quick. So Atlanta, personally, I watch them play a lot because everyone considers them like one of the best teams. They make a lot of like tactical mistakes on the map. Really, they do. But they play so fucking fast that like they're always recovering, like are always just reacting to whatever situation, and. I think that Minnesota just plays more correctly, but they also play slower. And so our team just matches up better against them. In the last scrim we played against them, I'm pretty sure they smoked us, but that was our first scrim with Gene. Yeah, and so. Yeah, so. But in general, we just had to make a change. We had to do something. I mean, it's kind of insanity to just go into this to every single series with the same exact thing and expect something different to happen. Definition right That's there, That's absurd. Bro. That's a definition of insanity, right? And we're playing online. And uh, personally, I don't think that Cap is like – Bad like the community does. I think that's Neither just that's just the community just hating on a guy and just doubting on him. Just that's Cap has his flaws, just like every other player, but he also has a lot of positives that he brings. But we just had to do something as a team to try to to change the mood, the vibe, something, and we're gonna see if it works out. I don't know if whatever's with Cap is permanent. Nothing like we've made moves before that weren't permanent. So it's all I know is out new. you guys are all fucked if Team Pine get a. Uh... Get a franchise spot. <laughs> team Pine is disgusting. Team Pine. Have you scrimmed them at all? If that, real, <laughs> if that was a real team, they'd last a week. Wait, Cut it out. Why? <laughs> team Pine's nasty, dude. I saw them mm. scrimming our academy team, and they took them out back. So. They destroyed. Yeah, our academy team is horrible, though. <laughs> Whoa! <yeah. laughs> <laughs> they did. Oh, they did whoop those fools. Are there any AMs that you guys been looking at? Trash. Been looking at this season, bro. You guys keep um, your eyes on AMs. He's he's great. Oh, wait. He kills, he kills in a bullet. Yeah, he yes. kills in a bullet. 
Dave Patty in the beginning of the year was disgusting. Wait, he should be a main AR. They took him off main AR. He cut his powers in half. Oh yeah, hundred percent. He should be a main AR. Um, <laughs> who else? Awakening. We have nightmares. Mac was that. disgusting in the beginning. Yo, the beginning Mac of the year, is. So hold on, hold on. The first time I gotta talk about this, bro. The first time I've been able to like really watch this guy play was last was the was last week and a week before last, whatever it was. That dude is insane, bro. He was incinerating, bro. He was going off, man. If you got yeah, scrim dude. New York, like what's Back it like for a reason, dude? Dude, I think <laughs> New York the, the mo like the the team that we scrim the most. So all right, so that I actually was gonna ask you guys about that. What team do you think is gonna turn it around? Like, what team do you think is gonna crack into that like top six discussion and start pushing to you know top three in these tournaments? Is it New York? I would oh, probably say New York. Yeah, one hundred percent at uh, this point. With everything being online and whatnot, not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, just me, just me, no, me this, is show, this is the show where we speak the truth. Me personally, I no, just speak your see truth. Mac do it on land. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, uh... <laughs> like the guys go online. I just need to see it done on land, and then like, all right, all right. Now, see, gotta Rex, you is... used to be that guy for me. I'd be like, yo, this, this motherfucker is good that's online. This is, online, this is what everyone gotta see on land. This is what every up and coming player goes through. You come up online, you're a joke. You have to prove it on land. Unfortunately, due to COVID, some, some Mac doesn't have that opportunity. Right, Max on the big yeah. stage, bro. He's chilling. He's got he's got the game feel open. He's sitting back like he's vibing in the bedroom, <laughs> frying, dude. Where is he at? Is he in New York? He's got to be New York, bro. New York. No, I think he moved back home. Nah, he moved back home. Where's he at? at home? Where's he at home? I I don't know. Um, are you trying to get that dust? No, I just want to know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. Like, like you, like he's definitely good. He makes the right plays. Like he's getting time in the hill, like he's applying a lot of pressure, he's opening up the map, like he knows what he's doing, clearly he has the reps put in, but like he was killing really fast. I just wanted to know like where he's located because his internet's <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, Tommy, are you calling Goderex a warrior? Goderex Go ahead and respond to that in the chat. Zoom in the chat. Warriors, a little bit of... Okay. Cop. Jeez. All right, all right. Everyone's a warrior at heart. Come on now, Tommy. <laughs> Wait, did he call Goderex a warrior? Is that is that facts? I'm waiting nah, nah, for his rebuttal nah. in the chat. So uh, you guys laughed when he brought up Mac up Melt's name. It seemed like... So I'm guessing you guys play them a lot, and you have a lot to say when you guys are scrimming. Yeah, he pisses me off every time we scrim. There you go. <laughs> yes, it pisses Jerome off a lot. <laughs> Jerome, is, he's, he's sitting there pissed, dude. Mac Melt's is two bullet in him, bro. <laughs> Literally every time. So who, who's the... So other than New York, who else do you scrim often? Uh, uh, FaZe and Dallas. Yeah, it's lately the last two teams, that's it. How's it been going I think, lately? I think against Dallas, our overall map record is like 27 to 87. It's something oh brutal. Yeah, something like God. that. But Why? the last time we played them, we beat them. So that, that's where it matters most. Why? Why is it so bad? Like, what, what stylistically, what what's happening? Mean? Stylistically. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <Keep it up. laughs> These guys are unstoppable online. Stylistically. John is not wrong. <laughs> Why? What makes him so unstoppable online? Is it shots? He is it Illy? Like what is it? I'd probably um, say, dude. I mean, I I I'd probably say Illy and shots. I mean, no, even though shots is getting a lot better, but Illy though. Nasty, though. <laughs> <laughs> Illy though. Illy <laughs> though. Nuts online. Damn. Do you see anybody uh, really like like obviously you guys like in a tournament like you know you have what it takes you can make it to that final and if you really grind hard you can you can win that series but like. Are the odds stacked against every team going up against Empire in these matches right now? Because just how good they are comboed with their, their online capability. Would oh, you yeah, say by that? Yeah, odds are stacked against <laughs> every team by far. Oh, 100%. There's no other team that gives you that much trouble. No one's, taking it, no one's taking it away from them that they're a good team. Yeah, they're, no one's they're, also, away. they're still also a very good team. And then you combo it with the fact that, like, I don't know if you watched, but, like, Shotzi was running around, like, half building people on accident. Like yeah, this yeah, guy. yeah. yeah. <laughs> that. I, I, I think there was a clip when they were playing you guys. He fucking actually wallbanged someone in bathroom on a gun runner. Guy. <laughs> but but like so. No, that was Illy. So, that was Illy. That was Illy. <laughs> <laughs> well, like dude, he right, wallbanged guy through bathroom, cut to the left, and beam the guy turbine. Yeah, got two like, piece because of it. So for me though, like, like, like it's nasty. not as simple as just saying you're that good online. I want to really know why though, because you guys all have good internet. Everybody has thousand by thousand. There's other players I that are in Texas. That. I ain't got a thousand by thousand. Well, everybody has good internet, and there's other teams that all have thousand by thousand that are either in New York or in Texas. Like, why? Like, what is it about them? 
other than just like their net or is it just that that gives them that huge edge like i i don't i don't know what everybody says this and i'm trying to figure out exactly why nobody can give me oh, that. i personally think texas is a cheat code yeah i, I, I think, think it's just texas Copies. texas is a cheat bro. code <laughs> Lou, said, bro, why trey will say the like same thing trey mind. and maddie lived there in a temporary house in texas and they said it was unreal so i can't imagine a fucking dallas facility in dallas texas Playing these tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> Where else would the Dallas facility be? <laughs> Dallas facility in no, Dallas, I Texas. To, I had to, I had to oh, emphasize the Dallas, 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 Texas part <laughs> because it's in the center of fucking America. That's why. Okay, Danny's calling me out and I have to reply to it. He said, Why is Ant acting like he didn't play online? He won packs and you couldn't see this guy in the back without getting roasted. That is facts, but that was at a time where internet was different, bro. Like, I had mm -hmm. ATT U verse 10 by 10, 10 by 2 or some shit. So when I got online, 10 I was, by 2. He's capping. But, you know, I, when I got online, they don't exist. I was roasting yeah, right. everybody, bro. I know locations, everything. I just know there's other players that are in it's, these areas. It's location plus confidence. Like, what were you saying yeah, before? You go to every match confidence plus your location. Like, they just believe that they're going to win every single situation they go into so not only that, that I mean, crim is crazy online most of the time too so i get it <laughs> i've seen crim's warzone plays guy plays and online. we gotta test the server before we hop in the match so like imagine dallas like they go into the test server they're like yo we're all pinging eight like we're good like this is about to be sick <laughs> no, that's true that's my true. man silly is pinging 120 like he's probably not thinking the best right right before we go into the match like i know i wouldn't be is he back I'm in pinging vegas 120 right about to fry yeah, yeah, Vegas. Are you guys? Oh, you're all at home. I forgot. Huh? Only me, Asim, and Justin are. Yeah, oh, the okay. other two are in Minnesota. Okay. Okay. Well, that was <laughs> that was pure entertainment. Um, <laughs> let's see what else we got talking here. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, your guys' group going to this next tournament. So, um, your guys' group is you play Florida first round. So that's the rematch where you guys lost that one last time, and then New York and Toronto on the other side. Um, walk me through like your match with Florida, what happened there, why you weren't able to take them down, and like what you're getting ready for in this rematch. Uh, I mean, our first, I mean, our first matchup against them, we won. I mean, obviously, won first map, but then our S and D that entire event was absolute shit. And then, um, like uh, the domination, we our teamwork was just non-existent whatsoever that entire dom. And then some play happened that like kind of sparked a little argument with Ace and Justin after the domination. And I think at that point, like, heads are just not in the right spot for fourth map, and then they kind of just went fucking downhill from there. Hmm. Unfortunate to say, but we all talked about it, like, right after, and, like, knew that, like, like that shit can't, like, that, like, that can't happen again. So you don't feel like they're, like, that much better than you guys? Like, if you played them ten times, what's the outcome there? How many times do you win, you think? Ten times, probably, like, you know, eight out of ten. Damn. I'll give them, I'll give them, I'll give them two matches. I think, I think Cole Ooh. and Pharaoh had, like, a really, really, really strong series. It, yeah, they like, definitely did. I think with Colt, the way he plays, like with the with like how um, how good he was doing, it was going to be really hard for us to beat them. What well, so what do you mean by the way plus, he plays? Explain that. Explain that to the, the explain that to the people at home. Um, Cole has a very fast paced game game to him, so like really he should be only like going in getting one and dying, but he was going in getting two and staying alive, and he just kept <laughs> doing that. And I think that's what that's what uh, made the respawn a lot stronger. I'm not saying any, and there's no diss behind that. It's just he really uh, had a really strong final series. Yeah, he did. Pharaoh had a crazy tournament. You think they're better with Pharaoh oh, yeah. than they than they are with uh, Pristini? At first, I didn't think so. I thought Prasini brought a, a really impactful, uh, really important role, but they've said that Pharaoh's br uh, brought a lot of leadership, and I guess that's what that Florida team needed because they just obviously came out with the... You scrim them at all? We don't scrim them very often, no. Who do like we? Twice. Who do they scrim? I, I honestly don't know. We do, <laughs> Toronto? I think that's that's what's like... Um, I think that's what's a major part of why we lost that finals is because... We are really good at like studying teams and being able to like match what whatever like t uh, play style they play, and we don't scrim Florida at all. So going into that finals, like we really didn't know a lot with with them having Pharaoh because like we didn't scrim we scrimmed them before with Prasini, but not a lot with Pharaoh. So we didn't know what to expect, and we just all we knew was that Skies is a a really strong slow AR and Colt was really fast. That's all I really that's all we really knew about that team. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Um, yeah, who does Florida scrim against? <laughs> I feel like well, I just see them in the tournaments. They're just so, good. Farrell's who's really good outside of the, who's the other half of your guys' bracket? Uh, New York and Toronto. Toronto. Mm -hmm. Toronto. Yeah. New York and Toronto. So who do you guys see coming out of that one? Probably New York. Easily. Easily? 
But you yeah. ace him. I told you. Yeah, this last you're week, easily. Man. Bro, I feel like Toronto's gotten better. Yeah, but, but Toronto, York... has, Toronto has gotten a lot better. New York, uh, online, they're just they're just better. I'm telling you, every team is telling you. Every every team that comes in here is telling you the same thing. I know. I know they're that just, they've gotten better. Like I don't a, deny it. I just like don't know. They've, like, they've how gotten better. They've gotten more confident, and they picked up Mac Melts. I'm telling you, it just makes a huge difference. So, yeah. all right, the other side is Group B is Paris, Atlanta, OGLA, and London. So, basically, what I want to talk about with this whole tournament is that I feel like if there was a time for you guys to win, it's right now, right? I feel like you're smiling because you knew what I was going to say. Like this tournament isn't the, you know, you're missing Empire, you're missing Huntsman, like you're missing some of these other heavy hitters. And, like, if it's not FaZe, it's, like, you guys that are the favorite to win this whole thing. So, like, going into this one, do you feel like it's, like, this is our time? Or it's or maybe we're chalked? Ain't no damn maybe we're chalked. Well, okay. this is definitely the one to win. All right. That's what, that's what we're thinking with, uh, what was it, this event and our Seattle event. I feel like there's, like, I think the Seattle event as well, I think there's, like, no Atlanta or Dallas or Chicago there or something like that. Yeah. Some weird yeah. shit. But, yep. I mean, we, we've already beaten Atlanta, and... um we always match up well against for some reason, but we meet up in finals. I feel like we're, we're definitely taking that one. Like you said, this is definitely the one for us to take after getting back to that grand finals and getting that silver surfer medal. But, you know, it's all good. But this is definitely the mm -hmm. one. What about you, Asim? No, yeah, I think what the, we, we, we've been talking about the past week with the team, we all think that this is definitely the one. That's good to hear. That's good. I'll be looking out for you guys. I was just on contesting the point talking about this, which will air very soon. You guys will see that. But uh, all, right. all right, so we have a ton of questions from Twitter to go over. We haven't done a and a segment in a while. Um, so if you guys want to also go along with me, you can just go to podcast underscore pod and go to the tweet for the Q&A and look through the post. I'm going to pull these up here in a second and we'll start getting into it. But uh, yeah, dude, we've had a we haven't done this in a while. So you guys are going to get some crazy questions, bro. Trust me. Right, let's do it. I gotta. So I have to skip a lot of these questions. All right, <clears throat> John, do you have it up as well? We'll just kind of go back and forth. Um, sure, I can pull it up. Give me a second. And then go we'll also it. take some go questions ahead. from chat too. By the way. Um, but uh, first question is from Yes, it's BQ, and this one's for Asim. He goes for Asim. What would Black Ops Four Phase Black roster be? Would the Black Ops Four Phase Black roster be winning champs in this game, or be winning championships in this game? Excuse me. Worded a bit weird. Uh, bringing championships. Mm, I, I, with the phase black team, it was uh, me, Selium, Simp, Phantoms, and Gravity. I agree. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> think we're championships now. I don't know. We do a lot of care. I think his question was like, do you think <laughs> your team would be good? But honestly, I honestly think that team was pretty good. Like, we could have been the top team. Top team. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So for both of you guys, this one's from generally av average. Is Illy underperforming so far compared to his hype? We have seen Shotzi come to his own, but stats and slang wise, it feels like Illy's not there yet. <laughs> no, honestly, listen. I think Illy's got a a very like, like I feel like the way me and Illy play are like the exact same. But we don't we we're not the flashy like sl slaying heavy subs. Like we do a lot of other things on the map that other people don't really notice. Um, also, like me and Ellie are very fast placed, so we we always like we are always entering too. So I feel like that plays a big factor in stats. So I, I like I don't know I I can't we can't be saying that Ellie's been playing bad because they're obviously a top two they're they're the best team right now. They just won, and he he does a lot of other things on the map. Wow, oh, yeah, Asim's really well. matured, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I feel like what Asim said it's true though, because like. Yeah, like, cause like sometimes like someone will get a kill like off screen or whatnot. That'd be like one of the most impactful kills on the map, and you don't know about it. But I mean, Illy, I feel like definitely brings that to the table, and plus his S and D knowledge is a lot for this team as well. Okay, <clears throat> John, you can also chime in on some of these questions if you want to answer them too. You have an opinion, well, probably. Well, Illy's obviously not underperforming. They just won. <laughs> they just won back to back home stands. Like, what does a guy have to do? <laughs> All right, I mean, that's how you should answer it. Just, these guys good. have questions. We're gonna answer them, guys. All right. These guys. These are all Minnesota fans right here that want to know. All right, yo. If Pac-Man and Nameless were to take your guys' spots, how would they be? In what place would they finish in the league? Serious question. <laughs> we get torched because Ant is so selfish. You have to play a seems role, bro. First of all, <laughs> I'm not that selfish. Yeah, I don't know if either either one of you could play a very cracked 
selfless sub role. Have you watched me? Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Wait, 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 this is cow! I'm a national champion. Like what? You got second like once. Wait, oh, I still wow. have wait wait. I still I still have the snap low key, you know, hey. Listen, I'm not saying you don't have the snap, but you could have it with the AR. I feel not disrespected. The with the AR, why did people box me in an AR role? Because I'm like, is what happens when you like retire? Uh, people, just, like I was yeah, a sub, I'm too dog. young to know. Honestly, I'm too young to know your guys' prime. So I you feel like I me. was smacking Ace some fries to stop playing, bro. You never played me. That's oh, not, yeah, wait, wait that, actually, that is wait. I could bring up some. I think I beat both of you guys in an IW2K playing for fun underage. You what? probably we did in even... a 2K. Wait. No, I'm not joking. I'm not Wait, joking. I did it with RJ. You beat both of our... I never lost RJ. So Wait, I, I was playing Wait. against God RX though. <laughs> Peace in him. Wait, me, me I, I RJ, Abstract, and someone else beat uh, I... Lamar, Pac-Man, and two others. That's for sure. I never lost RJ in my life. You have to pull up the footage. Wait, were Man. you? I can, I can get um, on an IW? FHM. Are they still terrible? Uh, I was with Johnny, Nelson, and Panda under. I was piecing you Good guys. Good lord, up that team's off. Oh cool. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, we were we were absolutely shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, so so what's the answer to that question, bro? Get IW. Are, I got dropped we... on my neck by silly. What are we placing? Uh, <laughs> what are we placing? Me on my neck. I want to answer this question, bro. This placing. Is... Yeah, oh. what are we placing in the league? You got, mm. If you have us 12, I'm going to be heated, bro. But At hey. best. I wouldn't say 12. Probably like a, like a 10 or 9. All right, bet. Yeah. Oh. I'll give you a 10. I think we're good. Let me see. Who would my team? So my team. Yeah, bro. Metal boots. Like. <laughs> <laughs> there would be a problem. A lot it, to would, it, I would want to take main air from, from. I would want to boot uh, assault so bad. I would yeah. not, but he's like, because I just. He's he's good. He's so good. He's balling out in this game. He's nasty. But I'll just I just know even to this day, like I'm better than Assault. I'll just come in and just be better than Assault. I just feel like it. All right, but anyways. Party problems on our team. Yeah, I'm instantly going into it. All right, next question. From Charlie McKell. After breaking out last year in BO4 and being on such a structured team uh in Enigma Six, how does that compare to now? And what were you able to bring from that experience to Minnesota? Structured. Structured team. No, I mean, yeah, they had a good teamwork. No, yeah, yeah we, we know, bro. Yeah, that team, that, no, that team is known for teamwork. Yeah, literally, we're all built around that. But it's like, like same thing like uh, what my team preaches every time we play is just teamwork. Lead. Teamwork makes your dream work, as they say and whatnot. But that's like the, like the one thing I brought over as well is just learning how to work with the team well and just build chemistry fast. It's as mm -hmm. simple as that. I got to reply this in chat. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back right now. Yo, but uh, all right, so next question. Um, what's the most annoying team to play against and why? Atlanta FaZe, how fucking fast they are and crack they are, bro. They're super fast. And their attack usage is actually insane. I think, like, like literally today we were just complaining about it all. Like, our screen was just fucking white every single time we spawned <laughs> up. Just flashbang, flashbang. TJ That's always says, like, they're, they hit all their, he always goes, these guys hit all their fucking mates. Like, everywhere he goes. They do. Like, literally. <laughs> oh, yeah, their attack usage is insane. I, I think for me it's that. Dallas. Well, I think it's just their, their, I mean, that's awareness if you're hitting all your attacks all the time. I feel like it'd be different from. person to person. Like, for you, it's probably different because the subs just saw, like, like, some of them are just running at you, trying to slay and shit. And then for Asim, it's probably Dallas because Shotzi and Illy are just fucking melting as shit. So, I, I mean, I feel like it'd be different player to player. So, that makes actually a lot of sense. No, yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. Next question. Um, we already talked about Gunless, Mark Jordan. Thank you for the question. Um, all right, so this is a guy on a challenger team. His name is Chris DeBoss Real, and he goes, is it possible to make a two AR meta work in Modern Warfare? My team is struggling with this. At all, uh, is it possible? Nah. Not, not on most maps. you're just playing not, cave the entire time. No, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, uh, not on most maps. Yeah. yeah. If you're playing cave the entire time, yeah, you can make it work. With how fast MV5 kills and, like they say, if you're only playing cave, then yeah. But with how fast MV5 kills and how good that gun is, it, it's just not going to happen. Well, there's your answer. Uh, CDL Network asks, what is the most, who is the most underrated team and who is the most overrated team? Underrated first, Jerome, Asim, John, and then we'll go to overrated. Uh, Underrated for right now, I'd probably say New York, even though they made some noise a bit and won at the last event. But with how much they're improving... I feel like they don't get that much respect, but they 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 will in time. I feel like they're gonna start making a lot more noise and runs during the tournaments. Mason. Overrated? Oh no, uh, yeah, my bad. Go ahead, go ahead. We'll go to overrated. Um, they got you. I feel like yeah, I, I feel like like a lot of people have seen like New York's like um 
their strengths and stuff of the past event, like how they like hundred point cup phase or they beat Chicago the first round. So like, like New York is definitely a, like a, the obvious answer. But besides that, I'll probably say uh, Toronto because I feel like a lot of people uh, haven't seen how good they they've actually been coming. That's a Toronto home love. Nah, that's not what it is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, John? Uh, are we talking about underrated in pros' eyes or the fans' eyes? Well, your eyes. Oh, in my eyes. Yeah. All my ratings are pitch perfect. All right, let me think. Um, underrated in my eyes, I think. I don't think that you can say New York anymore since pretty much everyone comes in here and says they're good. I would uh underrated. I'd probably go with London. I feel like they. Uh, I feel like they play pretty well. Even like even though they went zero two this past weekend, they played both those teams really close, and then they just had a hard road. Right, they played Atlanta and Chicago. Even other top teams could have gone zero two in that road, and it's just uh they need to clutch up some games. But I do think that they're a lot better than. Than a lot of people would give them credit for. I just don't think that they're one of the top like few teams, so it makes them struggle against those, and they're kind of soft. I'm gonna say <laughs> Optic Gaming LA. Listen, these guys have been getting shit on, but they're not as bad as people think they are. People are saying they're the worst team in the league. They're about to be nice, bro. Money Chain's about to come in and go off. I'm telling you, bro. He's Money bringing the vibes, about to come dude. In. He's bringing the vibes. All right, so or what do you do? Underrated, overrated. Let's go, John, Asim, Jerome. John, you started off. Overrated? Yes, sir. This is a tough one for me. This is a tough one. Um, overrated. I, Why don't I gotta go first? Because we're going. I honestly, this is a tough a one. I, we all don't know. This, well, I'll man up. I mean, I'll start it off if you want me to. Yeah, go for it. Let me think for a second. I think it's overrated. absolutely Florida. I've been getting arguments with some of the other talent about Florida, and they're saying like, uh, "How's Florida not in the you know top discussion, et cetera, et cetera?" They did win. They do look a lot better, but I don't think that they're a top four team. I think they're overrated, and to put them in that discussion right now, in my humble opinion, is like who puts them there though? I don't think lot. anyone puts them. No one like. I mean, I've been getting into arguments about it, so at least from my perspective, they've been overrated in discussions that I've been having. Um, but yeah, that's the answer I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I don't think they're a top four team. I think that okay. they're top eight, and like. Yeah, I don't think they're close to top four at the moment. I'll go with uh, I'll go with Dallas. Damn, I think really? that if we were purely basing this off online, then I think that they deserve to be where everyone puts them. But if you were to put this on land, I don't think that they would be like this for sure number one seed that they are right now. I just don't. I think that uh. Like they're just way better online. I'm. I, I don't know how to say it. They're also. They. I've already said this before today. They're a really good fucking team. Really good team. Obviously, I still think they'd be at the top, but online they're just a different animal. Like, <laughs> it's it's actually absurd. I think our map count against scrims against them is like one in seven million. <laughs> All right, what about like, you guys? So, I mean, honestly, after Florida beating us, I thought a lot of people would put them in the top four, but I I haven't seen anyone put them in the top four. I feel like. Like them being fifth, sixth, like, is kind of like what they should be. But besides that, I don't know what else, what a team I can think that could be like overrated in my eyes. So Florida That's like for you? Really the only team, yeah, like you said, is Florida. That's like the only team I can think of right now. Mm. I really can't think of anyone else. Minnesota guys holding their tongue. I I respect it. All right, next one. Uh, hardest player to play against in game, individual player. Okay, that's a good one. Shotzi. Okay. <laughs> Shotzi by far. Actually, Shotzi or anyone on phase. Like, phase is just. Anyone on phase? <laughs> yeah. Especially with Major Mania Echoes during scrims. Oh my god. Play Thanos on the map. <laughs> nah, it's gotta be Shotzi or Simp. Or Simp. Yeah. Who do you think's the best player in the game? Well, That's got wrecked, baby. No. Outside of your own rest. team, come on. Okay, I'm sorry. Team, probably simp or sell. Easily. So sell you because you have to sell on AM scene. Crazy. So the hardest player to play against, you don't consider the best player in the game. It's interesting. Well, it's a lot of hard player matchups, you know. Yeah, it's true. Like Jerome will catch simp, simp like Austin a lot. So I mean, <laughs> just the type of player he is. 
Let me see if there's any other questions uh, until we get into the final part of the podcast number 28. Um, do you think teams will ever – or this is from Wave Hunter. Do you think the teams will ever utilize their substitute position to its fullest potential, subbing players in and out? Uh, in this scene, I don't think that will happen. As much as I want to see it happen because, you know, you get sub players who are honestly stronger in s d like Chicago and they have Tupac and whatnot. Well, uh, Toronto like, was a big example of it too. Yeah, that's true, but like if you're talking about like players who like you want to sub in for like one S and D game or like one S and D map during a during a fucking series or something, I I don't think that'll happen at all. Mm -hmm. As much as it'll be it'll be cool to see, but I just can't see it happen. I think I think Toronto is a big example because I think coming into the year they had what their starting roster was Lucky, Metal, Zinni, Danny, and well, who was the fifth? Me methods. Methods. Oh yeah, I said Zinni. Oh, you said Zinni, yeah. Oh. uh... Uh, it wasn't classic. Brack? Brack? Brack. There you go. It was Brack, yeah. Brack. Oh, um, but I think Cammy was a huge, uh, like, like uh, pickup that they had. And, like, no one expected him to be in the starter roster. But I think Cammy is disgusting. And I, I think, like, that's a good answer for that question. Like, uh, Cammy was a really big pickup. And no one really expected him to be used to the fullest like he has been. Do you guys think that Brack is the biggest disappointment this season, player-wise? I don't think that's fair to say. No, yeah. He, has, he hasn't that. really even gotten a chance to yeah, do he anything. Gotten a chance. He's one of the players that never actually entered the starting lineup officially for Toronto. Fair. Yeah. Is there anybody Him and, him played, and Kleenex. So. Him and yeah, Kleenex have played. Who is the most disappointing player this year so far? <laughs> Let me think. Doesn't even have to be a pro player either. Uh, shit. I mean, I, I can't answer that question. Wait, why? Well, it's not a fair question. I mean, not. Uh, what do you mean? Like a pro? It doesn't have to be a pro player. Yeah, it like, could be a player who's on one of the good amateur teams in the beginning that's fell off. Like, it just who do you think is bit, or is it, can you not answer because it's a player on your team? No, I mean, my team knows <laughs> that they all need to improve. <laughs> that's that goes without saying. You can say anyone on my roster, and they'd be like, "Yeah, sure." Oh yeah, it, it honestly could be the players from Optic LA. Like everyone thought they would be a top two, top four team, and they haven't been showing what they usually are like last year. So it'd be I feel like it'd be any player like on Optic. Okay. All That's right. Fair. Well, that is. I started to bait them a little bit at the end of the show. I know, guys. <laughs> <a little> classic. <laughs> we well, didn't get way, anything juicy John at said all. It was kind of hilarious. We didn't get anything <laughs> juicy at all. Yeah, any of the sound bites. But hey, we had a great show. There's one final segment, but. I like can't figure out who to have as the weekly clown this week. Me and John had a discussion before. Um, I almost wanted to make it Haggy back to back, but I feel like that wasn't fair to him. Wait, uh, did you have him on the last episode? Yeah, uh, he was the yeah, yeah, he was, he was definitely he was definitely the clown last week. But like, hundred percent. There's been the no clowns. So what is this week. what is clown of the week like? The clown, what is the actual definition? The weekly like the, clown is somebody who does something disgraceful, pathetic, or embarrassing. Or something that deserves to get roasted. Okay, it's got to be Chicago benching Big P. That's I wanted to do that, but John, we, we thought about that, that, but man. John wasn't on board with it. Wait, why not? Because we don't know the internal workings of their team. Like from okay, the outside, from, like from the outside perspective, we're gonna think it's the clown of the week, and it is clown of the week. Well, okay, our but... guest has confirmed John, right. the weekly clown I... is whoever I'm made the decision to bench Min Big P. The Minnesota Rocker are saying. And nameless. Hey, don't say Minnesota Rocker. This is only Sim talking right now. <laughs> right, me, me and Ant. Me and Ant are I claiming know. that's the clown. The, of the weekly week. clown has got to be whoever made the decision to bench Big P. Now let's go into this and why they're the weekly clown. So they're the weekly clown for a few reasons. The main reason is Big P is absolutely disgusting. Absolutely the, disgusting. Yep. Great player. I, I love the ad libs. Keep throwing them in. The second yep. reason <laughs> is. Disgusting, disgusting. They were a top four squad. <laughs> they were looking good. They could have fixed. Top they could have fixed all their issues. Big P was an integral part of this roster. And what are they left with now? Who are they going to put in their team? Is it going to be Pristini? Well, he's not as good as Big P. It's Jordan General right now. It's Jordan General. They're screaming. Around, they're losing out on great practice. You're going to have this guy on your bench. You're paying him guap. Big P <laughs> deserves to be on a starting lineup. Another thing is, you're letting all the people. You're letting all the people. Big P. Yes, you're letting all the people <laughs> see him, the up. cracks in your armor. Big P's a beast. We knew that going into the season, there was going to be some turmoil with Big P. We knew it. Yeah, we did. We knew it. If you guys yeah, would have weathered the storm, gotten through it, and kept Big P on your <laughs> team, that would have shown 
you know, some tenacity. Like, we're going to get through this. But nope, they fell. They fell to it. And they prove that everything that people were saying about it is true. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. The so weekly clown is whoever made that decision. Said by Listen, me and I, I have another question. Let's do you do guys it. think Doug deserves uh, a starting roster? I saw someone no. in the chat. No, no, no. No, no I don't. <laughs> I really like Doug, actually, when he's not being crazy. So do I. Even but though, no. even like, though he wired, he wired. I feel me. like when New York knew they, made, they needed bro. to make a change. I don't know. He literally hit Listen. me with the Tom Cruise Mission Impossible, bro. <laughs> Listen, I feel like when New York Could you imagine to make that change, Donnie playing with Doug? Okay, yeah, that wouldn't go well. <laughs> That, come on, Mario! Oh, <laughs> Whoa, <it's not> hard. <laughs> I remember watching a stream clip of them scrimming and Donnie just flipping on his team and like, Why are you shooting the trophy, Mo? You gotta shoot the enemies, Mo! <laughs> oh, Mo! <laughs> Do you guys think Doug should deserves a starting spot? On a Who, team like, um, that means that means he takes some one spot. So that means you're calling. You, give me the one player in the league who's a sub, obviously, which is pretty much everyone. But like an objective, non-killing person sub, because Doug's not gonna get kills ever. Whose spot he should take? That's Someone on Paris, maybe. T if Paris has a bad Paris. showing this weekend, TJ. If Paris has a bad bad showing. Is that in here? TJ Wait. Halley. Oh, not that. Spot. That is a that is a beast. You should I don't take know, TJ's man. spot, dude. So, I mean, they run two ARs a lot, so that leaves, Not even that leaves shocks. Well, they, oh, they recently switched now. up. Yeah, they, they switched they up. Dance the, on a sub. They have Dens on a sub. Oh, shit. When you know his game's Luka, Luka took over? Yep. Yeah, Luka, Luka took over. Luka is actually yeah. slower than Dens. Who would have thought? That's impossible. <laughs> That's why I, I it was said. Like, no, 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 John, that's who, what I said. Bro, my teammates were saying that he's the slowest player in the league. I was like, you can't get slower than Dens. He was like, nah, he's slower than Dens. I was like, nah, it's impossible. No it's, it's impossible. <laughs> no, it's Dens and Wuskin for sure. Weird shit, bro. Dens and Wuskin are just literally fucking posted, and then it's Adam Asar. <laughs> posted. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, Adam Adam moves a lot. You guys aren't giving him no credit. He ain't met a boost. I try. He got the red he dot, slow AR, and he just He's booted. literally That's not true. wearing a trench coat. The misconception is it's just not there anymore. It's, it's done. That needs to be that needs to be thrown under the rug. Adam Assault is no metal boots no more. I'm, I'm making Assault, a move. Legit I have has, been making him move. He has put him on tax attached sprint. to his ankle. He's going, wait, he's going wait, full on. Trust now. He's Iron Sight now? When did he switch to Iron Sight? Had to be uh, recent. A couple weeks Had ago. To be. Wait, really? Yeah, he switched to Iron Sight. Nah, bro. He uses the double control freak, bro. This guy's I am not making moving. that guy sprint. <laughs> this guy's not moving, dude. That's a work in progress for years. Even Pat couldn't get this guy moving. So if you got him moving, I'm impressed. For real. Either way, he still wasn't the slowest. Denz was still slower. No way Luca's slower. And, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm Wait, do you, do you play on first round? No, we play them. Why did Shady? Well, they play Atlanta, so, you know, depending Shady on Shady just used okay. 100 bits to type in Goderex is the best player in MW, no Kizzy, and highlight the message. <laughs> Goderex is not the best player in Listen, MW. It's a high very good, though. Wait, hold on. Asim, do you have Goderex as the best player for real? Yeah, I do. Wow, that's crazy. I get myself uh, top five. I would say there's a lot of players at my level as well. Here we go. Humble opinion. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. It was entertaining. It was wait, great. You think Lamar is slower than Adam? That's Cap. Wait, Lamar is definitely slower than Adam. That's 100% <laughs> true. All right. So now it's getting into a Minnesota <laughs> gas. All right. That's it, guys. All right, I appreciate you guys coming out to the show. <laughs> Hey, yo, yo, good luck this weekend, guys. I'm excited to watch you guys play. Yeah, good luck I feel like this is your guys' uh, turn to, to win a championship if you're going to do it. I'll be looking out for you guys to you know do your fans right. So good luck. You as well, John. Good luck with the change. Much love Thank to you. everybody who came out. Um, if you are watching this uh, or listening to this on iTunes or Spotify, I appreciate you guys very much. Make sure you leave it a review. If you're on YouTube, leave it a like. Much love and appreciation. We'll see you guys next week for the podcast number 29. Peace out, everybody. Deuces. Thanks, guys.